Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to your fourth REST API tutorial. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up an Express app. Okay then, so now we've set up our Node.js environment and we have MongoDB running in the background down here. There, okay. Now we're in a position where we can start creating the code for our API. And this API is gonna be built with Express, which is a package that we can install. So we're gonna install that in a minute, but one thing I wanna make clear, first of all, is that we don't actually need to use Express to create this API. Express is just a package which makes life much easier for us. So everything we do with Express, we can do without, but Express makes it that little bit easier for us, okay? So anyway, to install Express, what we're gonna do is come to our console, and you'll notice I'm in the correct directory, REST API playlist, which matches up here, you need to be too. And to install it, we're going to say npm install express double dash save. That is going to save it to our dependencies in the package.json file right here. So hit enter. That's going to go out and grab express and install it for you so we can use it in this application. Cool. So once that's installed, you can see right here in the package.json file, we have dependencies now and express is listed as a dependency. You're going to also notice this known modules where express is stored plus all the different uh, external modules it requires to kind of run if you like. So now we have that installed, we can go ahead and create our Express app. Now, when we created this package.json file, we said that the entry point was index.js. So we need to create that file first of all. So I'll right click in the root folder and go to new file, call this index.js. And then in here is where we're gonna set up our Express app. So the first thing we need to do is require Express in this file so we can use it. So I'm going to say at the top, const, and then express. This is just a variable name that you can call whatever you want. However, it makes sense to call it express, since that's what we're requiring. And we'll set it equal to require, and then express. And now, we don't need to pop the exact folder name in here. Node.js knows to kind of work this out. We've installed express. It knows where to look in the node modules folder for it. By the way, if at any point you find yourself struggling to keep up with this Node.js stuff, I do advise you to check out my Node.js for Beginners playlist. That's going to go through all this kind of stuff and more. So if you can't keep up, check out that first because I am going to be moving at a pace which is a little more advanced than very beginner. So now we've done that, we can use it and we can set up our Express app. We do that. First of all, let's put a comment. We'll say set up Express app and then we can say const app. That's what I'm calling this app that I'm creating. And I'm going to set it equal to express and then the parenthesis to fire that function. So this is going to do a lot of magic in the background now to create and set up our express application to that. But there's more to it than that. Currently, it's created it, but it's just sitting around doing nothing. We need to set it up so that it listens for requests that we might make to it. OK, so the way we do that is by listening to a port number. So we can do that. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to do a little comment again, which says listen for requests. And then underneath, I'm going to say app. Then we can use a method called listen. Remember, app is just this thing right here that I set up, dot listen. And then we're going to specify a port number. I'm going to say 4000, right? So I'm going to listen to port 4000. Then I'm going to do a little callback function right here, which fires once it's listening to this port number right here, okay? So I've made up this port number right here, but a lot of the time, if you're deploying this application to a hosting service like Heroku, there might be an environment variable which provides this port to listen to, right? So the way we can listen for that is by saying right here, process.env.port, then double pipe like so, which means or. So now when we say app.listen, it's gonna either listen for the setup variable in Heroku, for example, if it has a port number specified in the environment, then it will use that and it will listen to requests on that port. Otherwise, it's going to listen to 4000. Now, we don't have this set up, so it's just going to listen to 4000. I just wanted to throw that in in case you were wondering. OK, cool. So once it's successfully listening, I want to log a little message to the console just to say, hey, we're ready to accept requests. So I'm going to say console.log inside here. Now listening for requests and then a little semicolon at the end. So now when our app is listening to this, 
this callback function is going to fire to tell us, look, it's now listening for requests and we can send it requests. OK, so let me just run this in the console. I'll come down here and I'm going to say node index, which is this file right here. Don't need to pop JS and that's going to run this for us. And you can see it logs this back to us now listening for requests. So Express has successfully been set up. It's set our app up and it's listening for requests on this port number. Now, if we make a request to it at the minute, it's going to do absolutely nothing because we have no request handlers. It doesn't know what to do with it, right? So in the next video, what we're going to do is see how we can handle requests and we're going to start setting some of them up in our API routes.